All right, class, welcome to week one. Um, some things I might repeat a little bit from the intro video, but I'll try not to say too much of the same thing. Um, first of all, many of you are now looking at the word overwhelmed. You feel like this is too much. Um, and I want to go back to remind you that this is um, <coughs> a cram course. And, um, you know, I think I mentioned this in the last video. Um, every summer I do a cram course. Uh, you know, it's an entire semester um, done in a short amount of time. And then everybody, sh not everybody, but many are shocked that we're doing extra work each week. Well, you're getting this class done quicker because you're doing all the same amount of work that you would do in a normal semester in a shorter amount of time. That means you do a lot of extra work. Now, having said that, um, if you see all those videos that you do have to watch and write notes on, and you added up all the time um, uh, of the videos, it's still probably less time than you would spend in a classroom with me if you had a face-to-face -face class. So it's not an unrealistic, in fact, it's a fair amount of, of work um, that, I, that you have to do. You do not have to memorize a material. You're going to simply need to do a lot of work, like I mentioned. So. Um, don't get overwhelmed. Now, when I talk about the note uh, uh, format, when I say like one, two, three um, format, excuse me, basically what I'm trying to say is um, I don't really care exactly how you do it, how most of my students give me video notes is they simply uh, give a, make a point about a video, you know, make the two points about one video, make that one. And then uh, the next video, they make a two, as in the second video, and make two points. In other words, when I'm looking at your notes, um, number one would, would, would mean the, the first video that, that I saw, um, to put it simple. I mean, some people put video one, video two. I'm not asking you to do that. That's a lot of extra writing for you to do. Um, basically, I want you to make two valid points that I make in each lecture. Sometimes it's not a lecture by me. It could be a documentary or something. And sometimes I ask you to put more in there. You'll see that in the instructions, uh, in the video uh, uh, instructions. So like, if I have you watch a crash course video or something else, you know, and it's a part of, of, the, of the lectures, you know, you'll just, you'll, you'll make notes of it, just like you do with mine. Um, Feel free to ask me any questions if you want clarity on that. Um, the best way to get a hold of me, as I've mentioned, is to text me, call me, or write directly on Canvas. Okay, um, that's the best way. Uh, I'm gonna have Monday off, but I'm gonna work full time the rest of the week. So Monday is the best time to get a hold of me. But you can contact me any of those other days, and I will get that to you as soon as possible. So we're going to be going over a lot of topics uh, this week. We're going to be going over the Reformation, which is Western Civ. But then we're going to be going over Tokugawa Japan uh, and the Ottoman Empire, Safavid, the Mughals. That's, that's a lot of the world going on in one uh, chunk. There is a certain amount of ways of connecting this, this material, though, that I try to put in there. So um, come into this with a positive attitude. I think that, you know, many of my students find that even in these, these summer um, cram courses that they learn a lot. Another thing that I'm going to be doing from time to time is posting in announcement videos optional things for you to watch or read. So, um, like right now there's a crisis in Qatar with Saudi Arabia leading Egypt and Yemen and um, the, the uh, Arab Emirates, the Gulf states. Um, and there's a potential uh, um, Turkey is saying that they're going to send troops into Qatar. Iran's getting involved. Russia's involved. Trump just gave Saudi Arabia a hundred billion dollar uh, package um, uh, with a lot of weapons, basically siding with the Saudi-led coalition. Um, this may be new news to you. This may be overwhelmingly confusing. Um, but, but rest assured, there is a certain crisis here that can spill over 
um, into global politics. And since you are doing world history, and this is the kind of stuff that I, I know well, um, I'll occasionally try to facilitate information for you to kind of help you decipher modern events better than um, maybe what you're getting watching Fox or CNN, since those stations don't actually do any information um, about the world. Be blunt. So, um, okay, so I'll just end it there. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm looking forward to hearing from you all, and um, you, know, you can start whenever uh, on the assignments um, tomorrow with the official first day, though. Okay. Uh, yeah, I made this on Sunday, this video, so somebody watches this yeah, later than Sunday. <laughs>